Well, family, welcome back to the Day of Chanel's 48th World featuring the Family Affair. Hopefully, you all had a wonderful work week uh, during our coronavirus type of lock-in for some of us. Some of us are still, in, still having to have to go to work. But I had two days where I worked from home, and that was a truly, truly blessing. Because I, I actually got time to spend more time with my mom, so... I had a fair week, I can say that. So what uh, say fam your week was about? Get down in them comments and let me know. I wanna know, okay, how you fared out this week. But here we go with another story, another salacious story that the Jasmine brand has brought out to us by way of one of their correspondents. Char Patterson. Yes, they're trying to say that Nene Leakes and Tamar Braxton may be getting their own show, allegedly. Okay, right now they're just pretty much talking about it. Stream, uh, streaming it live on their YouTube channel. Or I'm guessing maybe it's on StreamYard. I'm not really sure. But take they're taking advantage of this YouTube platform. Like, they don't have a bigger platform to be on anyway. But it just is what it is, you know. That's what's a uh, picture taken back when she, meaning Tamar, was with the real. And uh, Nene had, some time ago, had wanted Tamar to come apart of uh, being a cast member on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And that was back in 2019. I don't know if anybody really remembered that or not. But we got to watch out for Tamar and Nene trying to be in the same uh, playground together because that is old school and new school mixing and they both like the lime like they don't like the shell now that's why i said that's a dangerous couple to definitely be trying to put together because tamar is an entity all by herself okay and her sharing the throne or a platform with someone else i don't know because you know she was a part of the braxton's family values and look how many times that she cut up on that show all right well she wasn't gonna film because of whatever you know everybody was trying to say she was the one causing all the upsetment and they couldn't get it together on when they were gonna film how they were gonna film and she didn't like her contract she felt her sisters were getting on her nerves. Tamar just don't have a good uh, run or a good performance record when it comes to working well with others. And remember, she was supposed to have had her show anyway. Uh, and she's stumping with the elite. Of course, she's a part of that Illuminati uh, type of format or um group secret society group i do believe but that's just for uh any conspiracy theories theorists out there that believe the same way i do on certain things okay nothing is by coincidence in the music or entertainment industry it's put out there in plain sight you just gotta have the eyes to see it and to hear and, and the ears to hear it when people are trying to uh awaken your uh, other sense of thinking. Okay. And it really is calling. Uh, thinking out of the box. That's when both of them. Were on Celebrity Big Brother. Of course. Her. Meaning Tamar and Candy. Weren't friends. Pretty much. When they were on the show. But as. Uh, with their first appearance on the show. But as they went along. In the Big Brother house. They knew it was all about allies. So. They called themselves getting along to just get along. But after they left the show, it seemed like they tried to stay true to what they had built as a bond while they were in the house. Uh, on Brick, the Big Brother uh, set. But I don't know, honey. Was she meaning Tamar hooking up with Nene? Child, that might be a dis different horse of a different color. Or another horse of a, di of a different color. So, I, I really don't know what's going to really come out, uh, out about them really solidifying themselves with the show. I know Tamar and uh, Nene both have been wanting their own show. Uh, but nothing has come out showing that in a sense. Uh, Andy Cohen is not giving Nene another special at this time uh, for her to showcase her talents. 
or her family and them making a, a sitcom out of it. And Tamar was supposed to be doing something with Steve Harvey. He's supposed to be producing a show for her to be a part of after she so-called left the reel or whatnot. But I guess that was just fun banter that they just put out there for us to either believe it or not believe it. Because the show hasn't come to fruition yet. And uh, like I say, and it seems like she wants to be doing something uh, in them streets of entertainment. But let's get into the article that Miss Char Patterson brought out on the Jasmine brand platform. And can definitely go over there and patron her um, platform. Whether you, I don't know if she has that super chat or that subscription to her channel going on. But, you know, you can always just subscribe to her channel for a charge. Hit her notification bell. Or hit her, the notification bell on her channel and just be notified when she uploads new content. Okay? But anyway, um... Char Patterson gives us an article title of Nene Leakes and Tamar Braxton wants to do a show together. Plus, Tamar addresses Nene's feud with Wendy Williams, okay? And hopefully they have a video in it and maybe it'll play a little bit where it won't be too low. That y'all, my Yeti microphone can't pick it up for you all to listen to the audio. But it goes on to say, Nene Leakes and Tamar Braxton talk doing... A show together and Tamar addresses Nene Field with Wendy Williams. Nobody gonna worry about that. Hmm. Okay, reality TV TV queens Nene Leakes and Tamar Braxton aren't against joining forces for their own show. The two caught up on Instagram Live earlier this week with a Q&A sessions for fans. One viewer brought up the idea of the friends doing a show together and both ladies seems to be all for it. Then he said, absolutely, we're shooting one together right now. Tamar Braxton added, period, what do you think about having a girlfriend talk show? Nene Leakes hinted at already having something in the works. I actually had a business call before I got on here that was quite interesting. They made all my juices and, and they made all my juices and brain flow. Okay, I'm not really sure if she was really telling the truth or not <laughs> about that particular situation. Because sometimes people can throw stuff out at you and you be like, ooh, I need to claim that. Like I did have something going on just so, you know, people won't think I ain't got nothing going on. So she made up this elaborate lie. I don't know if it's true or not. Okay, but I be side I need me sometime. Okay, it goes on. That was just my sidebar. Uh, back to the article, it says the ladies also addressed Nene Leakes' recent fallout with Wendy Williams, who Tamar Braxton is friends with as well. Okay, Tamar Braxton defended Nene Leakes against fans' questions and said, Wendy will be fine. Stop asking her and stop asking Wendy. Nobody's going to worry about that. That's not drama. That's not another black girl drama. We're not doing that no more, y'all. How about other black women teach people how to treat us black women? Nina agreed and said, that's right. When people ask me, I tell them I have nothing to say. Now, Nina, you know you a doggone face lie. If anybody asks you something of importance like ET Entertainment or The View or anybody else that wanted to do a uh, uh, interview with you live on their channel, or pre-recorded on their channel. You know you'll be up there saying something. About Wendy Williams. And what y'all fallout was about. And your response to it all. You know you'll be up there. So stop it. That's just my sidebar. Not in this article. Going back to the article. It says Nene drama with Wendy Williams. Started after the daytime talk show. Hosted Blast of Nene on her show. Monday April the 6th. Okay. And basically, it's ending there. And it's asking pretty much, would you watch a show that Tamar Braxton and Nene uh, Leakes were a part of? Okay. But let me go back and see if I can play uh, something, some audio from this video clip. I 
to talk to you about this when we have time here. I have some great ideas. I actually had a business call before I got on here that was quite interesting. Quite interesting business. Really? Quite interesting. I, like I never even call. thought of yeah, I never even thought when they said I was my, they made all of my juices in my brain flow when they started talking to me. I'm going to tell you about something after this. Okay, good. Okay, oh, wait. Okay, and that was pretty much it. Um, Tamar just pretty much brought it, brought it out, out the blue, and then Nene going to jump on it like, oh, girl, let me tell you, uh, duh, duh, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, oh, Nene, please, okay? But I'll tell you, if they did catch one together, that's going to be drama unfolding because Tamar likes to talk and have the space, and Nene likes to talk and have the space. So I would just really like to see how they would uh really commune together in one solid space and both of them be uh rushing trying to beat the other person to talk or not and then with tamar getting close to nini and she's supposed to have this newfound uh somewhat of a friendship with candy burris and they're talking about candy burris uh, well, really, Nene's doing the talking, and Tamar pretty much just listening about <laughs> Nene throwing Candy under the bus that Candy can stop her her uh, money when it's uh, looking at having a show of her own. And, you know, Nene's out there putting that t uh, Candy is blocking her. And I'm like, child, if anything... If they're trying to bring Phaedra back, they're probably trying to get rid of Candy off the Real Housewives of Atlanta and promising her another show where she can have her own show similar to Kim Zosiak and she can just talk about her life. <laughs> okay, and what's going, what's the comings and goings over there at the Tucker Burr's residence and, you know, give her a couple of seasons and just see how it fares because, yes, bringing Phaedra back. Phaedra know how to read people. I can definitely tell you that she'll get that southern thing going on. She's a better reader than Eva Marcel can ever be. So, I'm like, mm, we pretty much need Phaedra back. Because the drama would definitely increase. With her not liking Kenya Moore as well. So, and maybe Candy can make guest appearances or something. But from what Candy told us, if they brought Phaedra back, she wouldn't be there. So, maybe this is her time for her to exit and do something else and try to make some money with just featuring her. You know, like Tiny and T.I., the Hustle Gang or whatever, is about their life. And they're nearly about the friends in there that they hang around i guess when they're not taping or whatnot so they don't brought them over there so maybe candy wants something similar to that showcasing just herself and her family and friends if they're gonna come on the show and be presentable or have some type of drama in their life that can be uh viewable for the audience okay for dramatization purposes so i'm like okay i can get with that we trade candy off for phaedra because she wasn't giving us nothing anyway. You know what I'm saying? At least Phaedra was bringing in some type of drama. Whether she was setting people up or not. But I'm sure she learned her lesson. Or at least we have, we hope she has learned her lesson. To just kind of do things kosher. Don't go doing things illegal. And you know messing with her professional career. As well as tearing down other people's career. By putting out this foolery, fakery, fraudulent type storylines. Okay? Just to draw attention to make her storyline a little better. But that's all I have fam. On this particular video. Y'all tell me. What say you family on this issue. Of whether uh, you would watch. Or partake of Tamar Braxton. From the Bra Braxton's Family Values. And Nene Leakes from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Do you think they should partner up together. And get a talk show going. I'm like ooh. That could be something like The View. Or The Real. Like something they were on. They just need to add you know a couple of more women in there. Uh, hopefully from the music industry of some sort. Because we never really got uh, some. What do you call it? one hit wonders or people that have definitely been in the music industry and they can talk about it uh from a og perspective as well as a new g perspective uh you know like have a hip-hop artist on there have someone who does um i don't know country music you know just something that they can talk to because we already got tamar she's really more in the vocal 
as well as entertainment reality tv and then we got nene she's doing reality tv so it would be nice to see someone that's actually in the industry the music industry or the film industry come aboard a part and be a part of that platform that they're trying to build and that's just my uh ideas my thoughts my presentation that definitely would bite my appetite to come over and view them a couple of times to see if i wanted to do commentary that would pique my interest is what i'm saying but anyway fam that's all i got for tonight i did several videos hopefully y'all enjoyed them uh definitely continue to subscribe 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 share and like the videos that i put out and I always love you to the core because if uh if it wasn't for you sitting there watching me i wouldn't have a platform now would i but that's it i think it's gonna be called cocktails and conversation with tamar braxton and nene leaks how y'all like that can you do you i mean hell she been raising hell over there at that um what do you call it family braxton's family values and you know she was a part of celebrity big brother along with candy burris um guest starring as well and she took home the big brother's uh prize yes she won that stuff so we know she's good about manipulation and all of that uh whether she's good about playing nice in the uh field i don't know look at her doing that one eye symbol mm -hmm. but anyway that's another video for another story to tell. But y'all be good to each other. And I will see y'all tomorrow uh, for some more videos being put out for Saturday, April the 11th. Guys, they're probably pre-recorded because I want to spend some time with my family just doing nothing. So I'll probably um, stay in my office and record a little bit more. But you'll see them tomorrow and Sunday. All right, y'all guys be blessed. I think the first episode... Uh, the reunion for the Real Housewives of Atlanta should be appearing on the 12th of this week. Uh, this weekend. Sunday coming up. Okay. So we'll get into that as well. I don't know how good it's going to be with them streaming it. I mean, I guess it would be kind of good because you won't be having nobody interrupt you. It's like, I guess they have to clue you in or tag you in uh, for, in order for you to speak. And then you get a chance to express your opinions. I don't know if they have like two minutes or three minutes to say what they got to say. Or maybe five minutes. I'm not sure. Because the show is just an hour. Um, and maybe. Yeah, I think it could be drama field. Because you definitely get a chance where they won't be interrupted. And they definitely can speak their mind if they do it appropriately. So it's interesting to watch. Don't know if it'll be better than it's how it's been doing. But hey. Will we ever go back to what we used to be uh, used to? acting like and being like and seeing people on tv i don't think so i think we're moving to another um outlet of how we do things on a daily basis so for the ones that are not keeping up and want to keep up who y'all better stay prayed up <laughs> okay because the changes are coming and is it one that i don't think a lot of people gonna like no i don't think you're going to like it okay but you're gonna have to deal with it if you can, because it's definitely going to be an explosion. This virus is taking over, honey. Whether it was manufactured or whether it was, you know, the lowest wheel. I'm not really sure. Because, you know, if you're biblical, you can. it talks about these things. It talks about the end of the world. It talks about uh, whether you're going to be a part of the beast uh, environment or system. So, y'all be blessed. Y'all take care of each other. And I will see y'all next video. Okay? And be good to one another and to oneself. And thank you, the Jasmine brand, for giving us another salacious story to put out there and have people make their opinions on and have discussion about it. I thank you. And Sharp Patterson, thank you for putting out a salacious story for us to partake in. And good night.